Hey, what's up, guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. And just yesterday, I did a live stream on mining Kapow with my NVIDIA GPUs. And I even tried out my RX 5700 from AMD. In this video, I want to recap the information, the performance numbers, and the data that I got mining Kapow. But I also want to include other ProgPow coins such as Ciro and Bitcoin Interest. So all that's going to be covered in this video, but all the links are going to be in the description, including the Reddit post where you can see all the performance numbers that I got for each algo, or each coin, excuse me. Now, each algo is technically accurate because they're different variants of ProgPal. But more importantly, this little bit of information that I want to share with you is AMD released a driver revision on April 2nd, 20.4.1. However, I saw a decrease in hash rate compared to my original one, which 20.3.1 is the AMD driver I would personally recommend, but test it on your system. Originally, I was getting about 56, high 56 to low 5700 mega hashes. However, when I upgraded to 20.4.1, I could only hit the low 56, an average of 54 to 55 mega hash. So I lost one to two mega hash by updating that AMD driver. Now AMD probably was doing it more for the gamer side to increase stability. However, for mining performance, I did see a decrease and I wanted to share that information with you. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video is because I've been seeing in my monthly recaps, which if you look at my channel, I have a recap for the most profitable coin to mine in January, February, March. And I've been seeing Ciro pop up lately, especially in March leading into April. And that's a new ProgPal coin. It's called Super Zero. I would challenge you to check out the link in the description or look them up yourselves. Always do your own research on projects, especially new ones. But I've been seeing it pop up, so I wanted to test out the performance. Ultimately, yesterday, I was not able to get a good hash rate with the RX 5700. I was getting about 3.7 mega hash. However, somebody hit me up on Reddit and said, hey, they released a new revision. So they, they released a new update after my stream uh, about 18 hours ago from time of recording. And I did see a significant improvement in the RX 5700's performance. All of my information will be in this Reddit post that I'm going to have live and in the description below. But a couple key points I want to mention is I saw the 2080 perform better mining a ProgPal algorithm in G minor than I did anything else. With that said, all the Pascal cards, including the 1660 Ti, which is a Turing GPU, uh, didn't perform any better. It actually performed either equal or worse. Another thing I want to mention is that the Turing GPUs are not supported in the Kapow miner. And all the miners are going to be linked in this Reddit. So I have the, the releases uh, or the GitHub releases linked above each section. But Kapow only supports the 10 series type GPUs. And then for Bitcoin interest, none of the miners actually worked for me. Uh, on AMD, Phoenix miner would work, but I was getting a very low hash rate. On NVIDIA, none of the miners, NBG miner or TT miner would work on Bitcoin interest. And Bitcoin interest kind of fell off. Uh, they're still around. I believe they're looking for devs or a team that's uh, uh, interested in taking it over, but it's either here to miss. I'm just here to share my hash rate and information with you. Now, the oh god, um, basically Ethereum pill did absolutely nothing for the 10 ATI uh, or anything. It just it did nothing in this particular instance, nor did I expect it to. So, moving on, Ravencoin, Kapow, the GTX 10 ATI at a power limit of 65%, which the 10 ATI throughout all my testing was at 65%, that's just where I keep it. All the other cards are at 75% power limit. I'm not gonna go through every single one because I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but feel free to research or look into this chart in the description once again. With the core at 150, MEM at 450, I got 23.12 mega hash, drawing 190 watts. The 1070s, I got 12.4 mega hash, drawing 110 watts. And then on the 1066 gig, I got 10.05 mega hash drawing 90 watts. And that's on the Kapow miner. Now those numbers are significant because if we switch over to MB miner, now we can utilize the Turing GPUs, which uh, at 75% power limit, once again, like I mentioned, but the MEM increased to 500, 
I got about 25.5 to 20, the low 26 mega hash at 168 watts on the 1660 Ti, 11.8 to 12.2 mega hash at 90 watts. And then for the 1080 Ti, 23.8 to 24.8 mega hash at 190 watts. Now that's significant because the 1080 Ti and the Kapow miner was getting around 23, let's say 23.5. So it's about uh, a half a mega hash or a mega hash better in MB miner. The 1070s, 13.5 to 14.1 at 110 watts. The 1060, 10.2 to 10.8 at 90 watts. Now that number is significant because when we switch over to G minor, the 1060 only got about the low nines to low tens, uh, drawing about 90 watts as well. And then the 1070s, 12.7 to 13.6, which we didn't get to hit the 14s or high 13s, low 14s on the 1070s like we did in MB minor. 110 watts on those as well. 1080 Ti, 23.5 to 24.6 mega hash at 190 watts. And then 11.3 to 12.1 mega hashes on the 1660 Ti, again at 90 watts. And then the... 2080, 26, so about 26 to dare about to 20, the high 26 is 26.8 mega hash at 168 watts. So G minor, when it comes to mining Kapow, is good for the RTX 2080, or at least it looks better to me from my testing. It performed better in G minor, the 2080 did, rather than MB minor. So what you could do is you can specify specific devices and have all your 10 series or 16 series mining with MB and leave the 2080 to mine on its own if you really wanted to otherwise just keep it all grouped up now the 5000 series got interesting because when we switch over to nb minor the new revision on the rx5700 rather than getting 3.7 mega hash like i was getting uh we saw anywhere between 11.5 to 16.48 the best setting uh which you can get a little bit better is about 0 0.95 volts 1750 core 1840 mem and six and we're going to get 1648 mega hash at 154 watts if you want to sip on some wattage and bring that down some more you certainly can because we can uh underclock these to 750 um 0.750 volts or 0.800 volts and still get somewhere in the 11s low 11s high 10s low 11s to upper 11s depending on how you want but I'll let you look through the chart and determine for yourself which setting you you prefer moving on to super zero or zero uh, the 2080 the 1660 1080 Ti 1070 uh, 1060 all perform similar between MB miners whether we're mining Kapow or um, zero coin but just to run through it real quick the 2080 got 24.5 2 mega hash uh, 12.4 mega hash on the 1660 Ti, 23.4 mega hash on the 1080 Ti, 13.25 on the 1070, and 10.27 on the 1060. TT minor uh, was pretty much the same except for the 1060 dropped down to the mid to high nines versus hitting the tens. Uh, everything else is, was close to or on par, uh, while as the RX 5700 mining zero we got about 16.6 .6 mega hash um when we're at stock clocks and by the way my rx 5700 is modified to be an xt uh with the power play tables and and the bios mod whatever you want to call it. it it's very simple to do if you haven't checked it out uh i have plenty of videos on that which you can check out my channel uh at the stock voltage everything 16.6 .6 mega hash dropping down the voltage to 1.050 uh, 1900 core 1840 mem we got 16.2 but we're still pulling a lot of power so to me the best setting was uh, 0.900 1650 core 1840 mem and we were getting 14.33 mega hash at 130 watts and you can bring that down a little bit lower if you like now for Bitcoin interest um, right here towards the title you'll see I have a folder set up uh, you're more than welcome to go grab it. It's just a zip folder of ProgPal CUDA and ProgPal AMD. It's the original or older miners. Uh, it will not be able to utilize Turing GPUs, only 10 series or older GPUs that came out before Turing. Turing will show up and it will get, give you mega hashes, but not very much. I mean, if you look at it, the 1660 Ti was getting 12.5 and the other algos are around 12. 
but in Bitcoin interest in this old miner, we only get 7.8 mega hash. So take this information, do with it what you will. I'm really just getting this out to the community. I hope this helps you out. Um, Leave me any comments in the Reddit or below my YouTube video. If there's any, something you want me to test, try, what have you. Um, my live stream data and information is also linked in another post. Uh, but I'm just going to consolidate everything into this. Kapow, zero, Bitcoin interest. But besides that, that's all I got for you guys. Make sure you get the updated versions of your miner, especially if you're on Navi GPUs. I would avoid the 20.4.1 AMD driver to stick on 20.3.1 for now until a new revision comes out. Because as they come out, I tend to test them. And then on my Twitter, I will let you know, hey, I'm testing. And I will give feedback on whether or not we're seeing any type of improvement or a negative improvement or, or a negative effect on the hash rate or mining performance of our GPUs. But thank you for watching. Do me a favor. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys stay safe, healthy, and take care.